he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that in Paris. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. That one appeared to stun him. Who's hurt? the punch and both guys really flowing with authority hookers lower john now starting to oh. show signs of swelling he's in trouble he's hurt bad oh. well, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now the ground and pound is on point this could very well be the beginning of this could be the beginning of the end we've seen some really good ground and pound fighters this young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. All right, so we're in the clinch. Not anymore. Beautiful trip to get this fight to the ground, DC. No effort, John. No effort. When you do it right, it takes no effort. And this young man just did it right. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Visibly limping here. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let's check. 